Jackie, let me introduce you to Enoch, great-great-great-great-grandson of Adam, great-grandfather to Noah, and the only guy who knows how many angels can dance on the head of a pin. I'm, I'm sure he'd say hi, but as you can see, he's dead. Enoch's a special guy. If not for him, we'd only know a teeny-tiny little smidgen of what we do about heaven, hell, and all those weebly-wobbly bits in between. How do you learn all this stuff? Well, if you read the Bible, it says that Enoch walked with God. What does that mean? Fuck if I know! I don't know, the Bible doesn't say, it just says, poof, no more Enoch. Next verse. This is why I don't read the Bible. I do, however, read the secret history. And it's there that we learn Enoch actually ascended to heaven, where he apparently took some night classes. Because the next time we see him, he's back on Earth, busy being the world's foremost expert on all things occult and supernatural. Do you know how many other people have been invited to heaven just for a visit? Zero! Seriously, they loved him up there! So much, in fact, that upon his death, a heavenly host descended from the clouds simply to inscribe his skull with the language of angels. That's the markings you see. No one has ever been able to decipher them. But, when the skull is placed in absolute darkness, the markings emit a faint singing noise, which is kind of a cool thing.